Hey, people, Edward Wright here of Taught Right. And, well, you, you know what time it is by now. You know it is time for another uh, music session where we uh, push ourselves and just have a great time playing a lot of good stuff. So I am Edward Wright. I specialize in teaching uh, music theory to musicians and singers alike. And this particular move that I'm going to do um, it's going to be in the key of D, uh, where I've kind of been a little bit, uh, but we're going to kind of just express and I'm going to teach a move because a lot of times guys are like, man, I don't necessarily want chords, but how to move and how to really talk and all that good stuff. So we're going to um, kind of break down a move, a simple move, but one that's you know, it's going to cause us to, 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 to well, it should. I'm hoping <laughs> that it will be uh, an asset, something that you can add to your playing and all that good stuff. All right. Uh, if you have not, please consider subscribing um, as well as commenting and sharing the content. And if you feel so inclined, you can also support uh, the Cash App, Venmo, and Zale. Uh, those are ways that you can uh, support. And whatever you would like to do would be more than welcome and appreciated. Appreciated. All right, good stuff. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the session. Let's go. All right, so this is going to be the move. All right, so. So it's just pretty much going from the one chord to the four chord. But that's kind of boring just to do it that way, so. Okay, so your melody is a bone. So that's so it's still a D major chord. Now how am I voicing it? I'm doing the D and the F sharp in the left hand. That's the one and three. And then I have the five and the three in the right hand. Okay? So let's play that. Pretty simple, right? So let's keep on going. Just an appreggio. Inverting. So right and then you're gonna come up D position D um, D major chord and root position so see that let's do that a few times so one two three again one two three again one two three again one two three one more time and see that so again, just those four notes, one, two, three, and four. So that's D, F sharp, A, and F sharp. That's the one, three, five, and three, D. And then we're going to just, that right hand, put that in root position. Now, we're going to come up again, and then with our left hand, put that D down, I mean that A down. To a G chord, G and B, D and B, and then just put that on A. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You see that? Let's do it. Let's even do it even slower to make sure we're good. So one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that felt so weird to play that slow, <laughs> but that's how you. It, 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 yeah, it, it, it's good though. Let's try it again. So in in real time. So 
excuse me, sorry about that, had to sneeze. But we can keep on practicing, keep on going. Baba. Again. 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 Two more times. Last time. Got it? So that's the change. So where would that lie? So you're if you're playing, if you've watched the previous video, you know we've done this. Right? Wherever you want to put it okay so it's a, it's a simple one to four but it's just a fun way to get to the four chord well uh, and then you go to the four three go to that flat six diminished to that six four Three, two, five. Now let's do the change. You see that? Go back to the three, two, five. Now do the change. Three, two minor. Five, thirteen. Do that change again. Boom, boom. I mean, it's just the, the possibilities of it. Are, it just whatever you hear, whatever you want to play. All right. So that's the whole purpose of the exercise. It is to not to make you play like me or vice versa. It's to share it. <laughs> And to, uh, you know, take take something and make it yours, add it to your playing. OK, um, so, yeah, like, you know. I mean, just having fun. I mean, just have fun with it. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do two more minutes. Let's go ahead and make this a solid 10 minute video because I didn't want to make it too long so you can get straight to it, add it to your playing and 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 keep it moving. All right. So let's go ahead and play uh, the rest of it out showing different ways we can do it. All right. So uh, some technical difficulties there <laughs> uh, yeah all right so that's what that is okay and so we just have to kind of play and really have fun with it uh, so we can kind of know what to do uh, you know Flat seven, go to that C. Four, flat seven. Let's do it again, let's do the line. This time, let's go to the seven. Uh, 
Let's do the line again. This time, let's go to the flat two, major chord, major seven chord. <laughs> Just trying stuff out. That's how we can really make that sound great. Again, that melody. What am I doing? I put that G on top, so make it sound, you know, make it sound, make, make, make it make sense. So, keep that A, A on top. B flat major seven to that A, 13. A, you know? Now let's go to the F major seven. Back to the A13. Let's go ahead and end. Bye bye. Da, 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 da. Just let's do the line. Here we go. All right. Four, two, three. That's a great way to end if you want to do that. I think I got that from a movie or something. Possibly. <laughs> All right, um, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully that you enjoyed the video and that you uh, learned something that you can add to your playing. Um, that is our intent. That is my intent in creating content. <laughs> that is my intent and in the content that we create. Huh? <laughs> All right, man. Peace, love, and blessings to you. Again, I am Edward Wright of Talk Right, and um, thank you for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Uh, blessings to you, man. Peace. Peace.